So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth guide on how to pack a punch in the Shadows of Evil Zombies map. Now I'm not going to lie, this is a little bit of a lengthy process especially when starting off and not knowing too much really about the map. So I'm going to try my best to explain it as best I can. It's going to be a mixture of gameplays of me showing you the items and where to find them solo and the rest of the gameplay will be shown with me doing it with friends as well. Now starting off Let's get into a few of the basics. There is one key component when pack-a-punching in Shadows of Evil. This key component is found at the start of the game, known as the summoning key. You can find this by turning into the beast in the starting area, and then whacking open the crate at the back of the truck, and boom, out pops the summoning key. Once again, this is the main component that you will take with you along all of the rituals, which we'll talk more about during the video. In addition to the summoning key, there are four different what I like to call ritual items that are also scattered around the map. These don't really have to be found in any particular order, but once again, uh, you will see kind of the best order and the best way that I do it in this video. But the four ritual items all have their own specific ritual table, which once again, you'll find the locations of in this video. So for instance, the first ritual item is located just out of the starting area. If you go ahead and open up the first door, go into beast mode and go straight ahead of you, you should see on the kind of crane type thing there, there should be a power box. Go ahead and power that up using the beast electricity and this will turn the crane towards you, drop a crate and inside of that crate will be the first ritual item which is the golden fountain pen. Now that you have the golden fountain pen, you need to bring this to its specific ritual table. To find this, what you want to do is go ahead and uh, go into beast mode, go outside of the first spawn area, look straight up at the balcony and you should notice a place that you can use the right trigger to grapple onto. Go ahead and grapple onto it, go all the way around to the very back end pretty much following the same way that you guys see here. And at the very back you should see a power box that you can actually use to power up the stairs in the back end of the first spawn area. These stairs will take you to the first ritual room. Once inside of the ritual room, go ahead and go up to the ritual table, place down your summoning key, then place down your ritual item, being the golden fountain pen, and this will now begin the ritual. Your key here is to just run around. A bunch of these kind of witch type things, I'm not really too sure what you call them, uh, will actually spawn, and you do need to kind of run around in circles. Try to make sure that you don't go down in this position, and uh, you can even shoot them and kill them if you really want to, uh, or you can run around for 30 seconds, and when the 30 second timer goes down, you should see a flash on your screen, and that indicates that you have now completed the first ritual, and the first gateworm is now going to spawn down. Go ahead and pick up that gateworm. Once you have picked up the first gateworm, you have now completed your first ritual, and are now on to the second one. For the second one, it's pretty simple. Go ahead and make your way out of the spawn area into the main area. Go ahead and take a right, then take your first right again. You're going to see a gated off area that is known as the Waterfront District. You can actually see that at the top of the door there. It will actually have the sign there that does state Waterfront District. Go ahead and open that door. And once you've opened that door, go ahead and become the beast. Once you've become the beast, go ahead and take the exact route I take. I actually ended up kind of opening the stairs there by powering on the electricity box. Uh, but you don't really need to do that. Just go ahead and make your way down to the very bottom. Once you're at the bottom, look up towards the balcony, grab onto the balcony, and there should be a box that you can knock it clean off. Inside of that box is going to be your next ritual item, but don't jump down just yet. What you want to do is you want to make one big jump over all the fences there, then run all the way down to the docks area, and there should be another door that you can whack open. Behind this door is going to be the ritual table. Once you've done that and become human again, go ahead and make your way through the waterfront district itself. Go ahead and pick up the ritual item that dropped from the crate that you knocked off the balcony. Uh, once again, this is going to be this time the championship belt that you'll actually see spotted on the floor there. Once you've picked it up, make your way through the doors to the ducks area where you smashed open the door at the bottom. And inside of that room, once again, is the ritual table for the championship belt. So go ahead and place your summoning key, then place your championship belt. And the second ritual is now going to start. Once again, it's pretty much the same thing simply you run around for 30 seconds or try to kill them you will need to try and kill them uh, as the rituals do progress and you get onto the fourth ritual uh, but once you actually survive 30 seconds or kill them all once again the flash will start indicating that you have now finished the second ritual once you finish the second ritual the second gateworm is now going to come down go ahead and pick up the second gateworm if you are doing this with multiple people, you can only pick up one gateworm per person. So once again, uh, if you pick up the first gateworm, your friend will have to pick up the second one. Whereas if you're doing it solo, you can simply pick up as many as you want as it will allow you to actually pick them all up. Either way, when you have the second gateworm, you are now on to the third ritual. 
The third ritual is pretty much the same thing, just go ahead and make your way back to the main area. And this one's actually going to be in the right side of the waterfront district. If you actually go once again back to the main area, uh, take a right, uh, and it's going to be another gated off area, this time being known as the Footlight District. Open up the door, take a left, and to the left you'll notice that you can become the beast again. Become the beast, and to the right you'll notice a set of stairs, and above those stairs, you should notice that you can grapple over them. So go ahead and grapple over them exactly as you see me doing here. And once you've grappled over them, make your way to the main uh, kind of top stairs area. From there, you'll see like a little ramp that you can actually jump off onto this little ledge. And at the end of the ledge, there's going to be a box that you can now knock down. And in that box, when you knock it down, there is going to be the third ritual item being the golden hairpiece. Once you've got that and you've gone back into human mode, make your way through the Foot Life District. Pick up the golden hairpiece on the floor once again. If you can't pick it up and you're with the team, have one of your other team members pick it up. And from there, you now need to go to the golden hairpieces ritual table. So to get there, all you want to do is uh, make your way to the very end of the Foot Life District. Open up the door at the back and this will lead you into the main cinema area. From there, you'll have you or a friend once again become the beast. You'll actually see the little place where you can do that uh, just in front of you. Once you've become the beast, go ahead and grapple to the top of the the cinema area at the front side and you'll notice that there's a power box that you can now power up this will open the cinema door once you've become human again and make your way through the cinema to the very back end and you'll notice here is the golden hairpiece ritual table so of course place down your summoning key then place down the golden hairpiece and this will begin the third ritual same thing again just simply run around in circles for around 30 seconds you know kill a few of those witches as well make sure that you don't go down it can be a little bit tricky sometimes they can kind of close you in and they will take you down very very quickly uh, but once again once you've waited that 30 second period and the light flashes you've now completed the third ritual and the third gate worm will now spawn down if you're doing it solo you can simply pick up the gate worm if you are doing it with people uh, you can have one of your other teammates pick up this gate worm once again if you're doing it as a team you can only pick up one gate worm per person so if you're doing this with two people and you already have a gate worm each you will unfortunately have to leave this gate worm here for now and then you'll come back for it later on as you guys will see what i mean here by the gameplay shortly but anyway you are now on to your final main ritual which of course is the fourth one this one is located to the left side of the main spawn area if you go ahead and open up the doors this will lead you to the main sewers area Go ahead and become the beast what i do go down into the sewers and pretty much just do the same thing i do here i knock open the little vent there knock open the door as well then go all the way down to the end of the sewers go through the little pole hole and power up the power box once you've done that and are human again simply make your way down to the sewers itself and the little vent that you opened up with the beast will now have the last ritual item inside of it being the badge go ahead and pick that up and you now need to bring this to the final ritual table so to do that just go ahead and make your way back up these stairs uh, open up this door here and you now have access to the main lounge area from there you will need to have you or a teammate go to the beast again this time go ahead and grapple up to the top of the lounge area and make your way down the stairs as quick as you can to the bottom floor once you're there, go ahead and power up the power box. This one will open up the stairway to the lounge area itself. From there, simply make your way to the top floor of the lounge, and this is the final ritual table. Go ahead and place your summoning key, as well as the final ritual piece being the badge, and just do the same thing again. You know, go around for 30 seconds, wait for that timer to go down, maybe kill the witches as well. Uh, if you are on a higher round, it may be a little bit more difficult, and you may actually have to kill some of these witches uh, while kind of training them around in a circle. But once you've done this, the final gate worm will now spawn down. If you're doing it solo, simply pick up the final gate worm. Once again, if you're doing this with the team, have your final member who doesn't have a gate worm yet to come and pick this one up. And from here, you have now done the main ritual parts and the most confusing part about this whole Pack-A-Punch video. And you're now on to the final few steps. All you will need to do is make your way back down to the sewers, to that big door that you knocked down when you was the beast. And behind this door, you can go ahead and open up the rift. Once you open it, walk inside, and this will lead you to the main rift room, where on the left you should notice a wall that has some glowing symbols on it. If all of the symbols are glowing, this indicates that you have indeed completed all of the rituals. If you walk up to the wall, it should literally just break in front of you, and now you are in the main Pack-A-Punch room. From here to the left and the right side of the room, you'll notice that there are two stands where you can place gate worms on. Go ahead and place one gate worm on one stand. Once again, if you have another friend with you, uh, get him to place the other gate worm on the other stand. And what will happen is when you place the two gate worms down, a wall will appear on the left and the right. This wall 
you can actually wall ride on. Yep, you can actually run and jump onto it and you will wall ride to the opposite side. And from there, you need to place down the other two gate worms in the center, which once again, if you're doing this with two people or, or maybe three people, you will have to go back and get the other gate worms at this point and then come back to the rift and then place them down. But when you place down the two gate worms at this side, you are now done. The pack a punch is now open. It's actually on the wall there, as you can see. And you can now pack a punch your weapons as many times as you like. And that is pretty much how this works. I know it may seem very kind of difficult and very confusing by this video, but trust me, as soon as you learn the map and I learn where everything is and you come back to the video again, it will all make sense. And I tried to explain it as best I could in the most detail, even for you newcomers to the map and, you know, people who don't really know the map too well but anyway hopefully you have enjoyed this video did find it helpful if you did guys be sure to leave a like on the video your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel let's see if we can smash over 2,000 likes on this video that would be absolutely crazy i do want to give a huge shout out as well to two friends of mine we got i crazy teddy who was helping me do this uh, as well as green venom who actually showed me a couple of ways to actually get this done uh, make sure you check out their channels down in the description down below and subscribe to them but with that being said once again hope you enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.